with the malevolence quelled and the spirits finally at rest, a sense of relief washed over the investigators. However, their ordeal was far from over. As they attempted to leave Hollowbrook Manor, they realized that the mansion itself seemed unwilling to release its hold on them. The once familiar hallways now felt like a never shifting labyrinth, leading them in circles and trapping them in dead ends. The doors that had previously been open were now firmly shut, and the windows seemed barred against escape. Fear began to claw at their hearts, and doubts crept in. Had the malevolence truly been defeated? Or had it simply taken on a new form, trapping them inside the very darkness they sought to vanquish? As the hours stretched on, their sense of time became distorted, and the thin line between reality and nightmare blurred. Whispers echoed in the corridors, and ghostly apparitions appeared in fleeting glances. Dr. Hartman's determination wavered and her mind filled with haunting memories and hallucinations. The others tried to rally her spirits, reminding her of the importance of their mission and the spirits' liberation. Ethan, the tech-savvy investigator, utilized his equipment to find any way out, but the devices failed to respond, as if the mansion itself was interfering with their attempts to escape. Lily, the historian consulted the journal they had found earlier, hoping it might hold a clue to breaking free from the mansion's grip. In the journal, she discovered a passage that spoke of a hidden talisman, believed to hold the key to dispelling the mansion's enchantment. Driven by hope, they embarked on a desperate search for the talisman, navigating through the twists and turns of the labyrinthine manor. They encountered obstacles and tests that seemed tailored to their deepest fears and insecurities. As the nights wore on, the malevolence seemed to regain strength, determined to reclaim the souls it had lost. The investigators clung to each other, their bonds of friendship and trust the only beacon of light in the darkness. Finally, with Lily's keen instincts and Ethan's resourcefulness, they uncovered the hidden talisman in a forgotten chamber. Its ancient power emanated an aura of hope, and Dr. Hartman knew they had to use it wisely to break free. With the talisman in hand, they returned to the heart of the mansion and performed a ritual of release, invoking its power to banish the malevolence for good. The mansion shuddered and trembled as if fighting the forces that sought to liberate it from its cursed past. In one final act of defiance, the malevolence unleashed its most terrifying apparitions, attempting to dissuade them from completing the ritual. But the investigators held firm, their determination fortified by the knowledge that their collective strength and the truth they had uncovered could triumph over darkness. As they placed the talisman at the center of the mansion, a blinding light engulfed Hollowbrook Manor. The spirits of Isabella and Lord Nathaniel Blackwood appeared, their forms glowing with ethereal radiance. With a sense of closure, they thanked the investigators for freeing them from their tortured existence. In the wake of the brilliant light, the mansion's malevolence dissipated leaving behind only a sense of peace and tranquility. The walls that had seemed so foreboding now felt welcoming, and the doors that had barred their escape now swung open freely. Exhausted but victorious, the team stepped out into the first rays of sunlight breaking through the morning mist. They knew that they had not only liberated the spirits of Hollowbrook Manor but also gained invaluable insight into the boundless power of truth, friendship, and the resilience of the human spirit. Their journey into the darkness had not only uncovered a haunting tale but had illuminated the path towards redemption and closure for those who had long been lost in the shadows.